gosh, I'm filming, you idiot! <laughs> what? Gosh, you're the worst. You need to center it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited you made it here today. Um, today is day number four of the 100 Days of Makeup Challenge, in case you haven't been following along. Um, I hope that you have. And definitely check out my Instagram channel um, at One and Ambitious Blog if you guys haven't yet to follow along with every day of my 100 Days of Makeup Challenge. Um, but if not, today is number four. And we are doing a really wearable, easy, green, smoky halo eye. So I love using green on eyes, especially because I have green eyes and I think it really makes them pop. Um, so if you want to see how to get this exact look, please keep watching. Alright guys, so let's uh, dive right into this. Day 4 of 100 Days of Makeup. Okay, so to start, we have like mm, all the eyeshadow palettes because I just have no self-control so I'm really sorry that this is not all coming from one palette but definitely just try to find colors that you that are similar to do this look in if you don't have every palette that I'm gonna mention here today all right so to start off we're gonna pull out our Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette so I'm gonna start with my Sigma E40 blending brush and I'm pretty sure this color is called pukey but I lost the name sheet like the day I got it so I don't remember, but it's this color right here. And like usual now, I'm not going to be setting my eyeshadow primer. Okay, so now that we have this color all blended into our crease, which is great, um, we're going to move on to our greens because what we basically what I wanted for this color is to just be a really warm, um, almost yellow toned brown to blend into these greens so that it's not super harsh. All right, moving on. So I'm going to pull my subculture palette and we're going to be using this beautiful olive green tone called Destiny. And I'm going to be going in with, if I can find my brush, with my It Cosmetics and number 322 brush. And you obviously, if you know about self culture, you know you don't need very much on your brush to begin with, so just a tiny bit will work. Now I'm just going to start working that into my outer corner and blending that in, and then we will bring it into the inner corner in a minute, but. For now, just really work on blending that outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with this smaller brush, my Sigma E55, and take that exact same Destiny color on my inner corner. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to go in with that original pukey shade that we used. I'm assuming that's what it's called. I could still be making that up. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in the crease again. Just blend those two colors together. So now we're going to go in with the color Money Bags from the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette. And it's just a really pretty metallic green shade. And I'm just taking that on a NYX makeup brush. And it's just like their small shader. I'm just putting that right over top of where we put Destiny. And now I'm going to use the color Bless Her Heart from the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And it's just a little metallic olive green. And I'm gonna put that right on the middle here. That was the Destiny color from Subculture right under the eye there, um, mixed with a little bit of that money bags that we used to put over top of it on the top of our eye. So now, because we want to really add some dimension to this halo, um, I'm going to go in with my Alimar palette, and this is gonna be really, really sad. Um, I actually broke this color. <laughs> you can kind of see it. It's going to be this shade right here, the El Malacone color. Um, it's a really beautiful green hued metallic shade, um, but it's pressed really, really soft so it breaks super easily, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just going to take that on a flat brush and dip into it just a little bit. I'm going to put that just right on the center of my eye. And when it's mixed with these green shadows, it really takes on a really beautiful metallic green look. So, I'm loving it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this little brush in, um, this little pencil brush. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that same green gold and underneath here. And I'm just going to take the color Rich Girl from the gold palette and run that underneath my brow bone. So now that our eyeshadow is done, I'm going to go ahead and run a little bit of this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese underneath my eye here. I chose this one because it's a metallic white versus the shade Milk, which is just a bright white, because I didn't want it to overpower this eye look, but I still wanted to brighten up my waterline. So now we're going to go in with the false lashes, the same ones that I actually used in my last um, video for the first day of 100 Days of Makeup, and it's just these Eyler ones because And I really like these for halo eyes because they're pretty uniform all the way across and they don't ha or they don't lean heavy one direction or another, which is really nice for when you have a halo eye like this to balance out the eye. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to pop these on, put some mascara on, and then we'll finish up the look. Okay, now that our lashes are on, we look fabulous. And it's time to finish up with lips. So 
I'm going to be using the lip liner in Walk of Shame by Urban Decay. This is my favorite nude lip liner. I'm probably also the only person in the world who doesn't overline their lips, but now is when you would do it if that's your thing. And next I'm going to go in with the lipstick from Perfect Pout in Santa Monica, and it's just a pretty nude lipstick. And to finish this whole look up, we're going to go in with the Pixie um, Lip Topper in Cake. You can't see it in the camera, but it's got a really pretty gold sparkle to it. And that is our final look. So I'm going to go finish my hair and come back to do this outro. So see you in a second. watching this video I hope that you learned something new and cool today and that you attempt this really easy and wearable green smoky eye um, it's really more of a halo eye green halo eye and definitely let me know what you want to see next in the comments below I'm happy to do that for you and if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram to follow my hundred days of makeup this year go ahead and do that now it's at blonde and ambitious blog and while you're at it following and liking and all that good stuff be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel Get notified every time I upload a new video, which is every Monday and Thursday. All right, guys, have an awesome rest of your week and weekend, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.